Hi there, and welcome to the last delivery of this short review in order on transition into OpenFun 11. Um, by just coincidence, th this last video, video 11, no, same number as OpenFun 11, just to summarize. So as usual, we invite you just to follow us on YouTube or join our channel just to help, help us just create more material. So we address a few cases, now the most common physics, and we introduce also some new, some new physics that we haven't shown before. I hope you get the idea that it's not that difficult to do the transition to, to open phone 11. So the main takeaways of this video, and let me summarize here, basically is you are an open phone foundation user that is open phone org, we strongly recommend you to move to OpenFun 11. It's not that painful, but yes, there is something, you know, some changes that you need to, to do, you no? Know? So remember that to to weigh those benefits, you no? Know, because if you have many cases, many things, or a lot of parameterization with previous versions, or if you have developed solvers, okay? Libraries will be compatible, so that is not a problem, but if you have to develop solver, so you will need so, some changes, need to do some changes, so have that in mind. Okay, the most notorious change is modular solvers that we have mentioned. Okay, it's basically something radical, but I think it is for the good. At the beginning, I didn't like it, but now I got used and it's not a big problem. Besides that, there also there are some so under minor modifications as you saw some keyboards here and there, but it's not a big, big of a deal. So the average use, uh, user should be able to correct those issues. So our observations in our is that from the computational point of view, I have to say that 90% of the time version 11 performs better than previous version. This is based in our benchmark. You know, we have a validation database and we're measuring in time and so on. And we have seen that. Okay. Then from the modeling point of view here, we have mixed feelings because about 70% it performs better, even lower, probably 60. Okay. But again, we have our own validation database and we like to compare. So we see some differences, but maybe we need to change something a little bit in the numeric, who knows, or something, have, uh, probably something else has changed. Okay. But we have our own database. Um, we measure everything, but the judgment is that, yeah, it's, uh, it was doing the transition. But just to remember also that new solver does not necessarily mean innovation and an old solver does not automatically mean efficiency. Okay. So it will be up to you to do that, that final transition. And to end here, just to remind you, what is the biggest modification in OpenFun 11 is just control dictionaries. You open control dictionary and now you need to put these keywords, okay? Application form run, and then you need to choose the solver, the modular solver. And to remind you that do you will have that everything here. You so you will need to get used. You need to identify what was the previous solvers and that previous solvers corresponds to need this new class. Okay, solver class. So this is the biggest modification. Then the rest pretty much remain the same. There will be some small modifications in some function objects and maybe in some important file to define physics, but it's pretty much a standard. Another big modification will be probably in constant dictionary that you have momentum transport physical properties, but this is coming from previous versions. Okay. So now I have to say that this is something standard and also to mention when it comes to snappy X mention, now you have everything, the geometry you put it in a directory geometry. So in my opinion, those are the, the largest modification or the since that you need to be aware of. Okay. And then there you might find some small issues here and there, but it won't be uh, a problem. Now, just to answer one question, like what is the deal or what will happen with open phone call? We have no idea what, what role they are going to take. But what I like about this version is that very standard. Okay. It's not that the foundation that from release to release, they change something and you need to get to they here. They try to keep back compatibility, but here, I don't know what they are doing. But yeah, this is also very reliable. I like it just because of that fat and some other additions. So at this point, I think I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this, this short introduction video or training on how to transition. 
And just to remind you, if you like, enjoy this one, just hit the, the like button or uh, join our channel. So thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.